Hi guys, so today's video is check out my nudes. I have gone ham this past like month, couple weeks with nude lipsticks. I feel like everywhere I have gone, there is a new, new, new nude lipstick I need. And of course, it's Sephora's like month of nude and I'm just like, I need it all. Give it to me. So my entire desk is filled with new nude lipsticks and they're all different, so I'm going to test them out today to see if they actually are different. Um, I have like high, high-end brands to drugstore brands, and I'm so excited. Um, there's some I've never tried and some that I have, so let's just get started and get right into this. So the first one I have is the Huda, Huda Beauty Venus. Um, liquid lipstick. I got this one at Sephora. Ooh. This is like a very orangey brown nude, which I usually don't lean towards, but I just thought it was super pretty and I love her formula. I just think it lasts all day and it's just super nice. I prefer more of a drying liquid lip just because I know it's going to last on my lips all day and I don't really have to worry about it. It's like my biggest fear in life when I didn't bring, which I never do. I never bring a lipstick and then it's all gone. I'm like, what, what do I do? What, what do I do? So she kills it. Um, I am excited to try this color. I'm experimenting more with my orangey nudes. So hopefully it'll be good. The next one is the Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipsticks. Now these just launched a couple weeks ago, a month ago, and um, I saw this in Sephora. This is Back Talk. This is actually the one I'm wearing on my lips right now. It's super buttery and creamy. It's a little sticky. It's definitely not like a full matte dry. I just put it on about like five to ten minutes ago, so I'm gonna see if it gets like drier, but it's super comfortable. Like, I'm about it. And the color is life. So this is definitely more my color nude. Like this is one I wear on the daily. Oh, it's just so pretty. And the packaging is just so cute. I've yet to try a Urban Decay, Urban Decay Vice lipstick. So I need to go pull out the stops for that. But um, I just, this color just caught my eye. It always catches my eye. So I am excited to try these. I really want to try their bright blue one. I'm a sucker for that. Yeah. So the next one is the Kylie Cosmetics. This is Dirty Peach. This actually launched a long time ago. I never got it just because it was a more orangey nude again. Um, but it came in like my little Valentine's Day kit. And I wore it today. And it is super. I wouldn't consider this a nude. I don't know. Is that a nude? I wore it today and I actually really liked it. Um, I feel like I'm more like, if it's like an orange, I'm good. But if it's an orangey brown, I'm like, nah. But I wore it today. It looked really pretty. Um, I did like a full peach face and I was, I was about it. I liked it. I always like her stuff. I found this one though to like flake off and be super drying so I don't know if it was like her form that formula for the dirty peach I don't know I was not as impressed with it as I was with her other ones like it did not last all day I don't know disclaimer not that that good the next one which I'm super excited about are the Clinique Crayola collection this is so cute they came in like a little four pack oh they're just adorable i i didn't know how i would like these um let's see these are a chubby stick intense moisturizing lip color bomb my dog is watching basketball right now um so there's like i think you can buy like 12 or something i just like the four i really liked all these colors um so that's why i picked them I think it was like 24 bucks for the four of them. So it was actually a really good deal. So this one is Fuzzy Wuzzy. Oh, that's such a cute name. It's a really pretty color, actually. It's definitely like a 
no makeup makeup no makeup lipstick look um from what i can tell they're super moisturizing this is mavulous that is the cutest name ever yeah you definitely just have to like really go over it a couple times to get that pigment in which is like not ex or it's really expected for like this kind of lip product but they feel super nice so if it's like a really dry day i'd be about it this is melon just a really cute pink i actually like this one the best i think it has the most pigment which i feel like lighter colors always have the most pigment but these two are actually very similar so yeah and this one is brick red this is like the least new but you always have to have a good red and that is amazing holy patootie that is some great pigment okay so brick red killing the game i'm really excited to actually wear these um i'm not a huge fan of lipsticks anymore just because liquid lipsticks are so easy but these look really comfy i'm excited okay so the next thing i got was the sephora give me some nude lip i just you have to it's so cute so it comes with one two three four five six nude lips in this super it's all gonna fall out super cute case i was just really about it so the first one is a Too Faced melted matte this is queen b which i think i have a couple of these now and i really like it it's like definitely my shade it's a little darker i would say than the urban decay vice one but it's still perfect i love the Too Faced liquid lips i think they're so good i just ugh. the next came with a mark jacobs slow burn just like a little mini one this is a lipstick oh great color i have this i have slow burn in the liquid lip and it's my favorite color out of all of them so i'm glad i have that in a lipstick now now we have Bite Honeycomb. I actually love Bite lipsticks. I don't buy them as frequently just because I don't know why, but I should buy more because I really like them when I wear them. Um, it's just a super uh, brown nude color, really easy. It's definitely more of an orangey undertone, which I don't really mind on this one. It's more like, it's like Kylie Cosmetics exposed and some days I'm feeling it some days next we have oh buxom white Russian this stuff is the bomb.com people like I would so this is just a gloss with a little bit of color and it is so you, you won't really be able to tell but it is so pretty I wore this in an Instagram picture and I just wore this and people were convinced I was lying they're like no you must be wearing something else on your lips I'm like no I swear it's just this and they're like I don't think so okay next we have ooh Urban Decay Vice yeah maybe oh okay this is Comfort Matte or is it 1993? I think it's 1993. Ooh, that's a super pretty color. I don't think I have a nude in that color. Like, I don't think I have anything really like that. Maybe Dolce K, Dolce K from Kylie Cosmetics, but nothing in that extremeness. And then the next one we have an Estee Edit. Uh, contour lip liner this is the barest oh such a good uh, lip liner I love Estee Edit there um, eyeliners are so good they go on like super like wet I guess is the way to say it like super wet super creamy and then they dry and then they just don't move my mom actually bought it and then I stole hers so that's what happened there oops the next one I got in a Heart birthday kit from Sephora no it's not my birthday month it's my mom's birthday month thanks mom for giving me your gift 
Um, this is just a Tardis, Tartius? I heard Laura Lee say Tartius today and I don't know. So it's Tartist or Tartiest lip paint. Um, this is a birthday sale. Oh, that's cute. Birthday sale. Huh. So creative. Oh, such a good color. Oh, it kind of smelled. Okay. But there we go. Can we just acknowledge that none of these look the same yet? Boyfriend, if you're watching, none of these are the same. I would. And this highlight. Ooh. Okay. So next, I splurged. I have never really owned a high-end lipstick, like high-end, but I saw it and I thought it was really pretty. So I got the Givenchy Rouge. I can't say it, but it is a satin lipstick and the color but okay I don't know how to open this oh that is so cute that's why you pay the $30 yes it was $30 but that is why you pay it for that adorable packaging <gasps> this color though this you know this reminds me of Bobbi Brown sandwich or something my all-time favorite lipstick color it's literally perfect. I hate that. Like, why? Why do they have to be good? Why does the $30 lipstick have to be so amazing? I don't really understand that. Oh, wait. I bet. It's a little... So I can just dangle it on my keys. And then when I'm just like, I need lipstick, guys. Let me just pull out my Givenchy. Ready! Because I'm going to let that dangle off my keys. That I don't get. But whatever. It's still really cute. And that color is amazing. It's so pigmented and smooth and creamy and everything you want in a lipstick. And a man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next one is Makeup Forever. This is color 105. I don't know. It is super pretty. I I don't know if these are new or not. I just happened to see them at Sephora in their little nude. Allie, come to us because you need to buy all the nudes in this little section, which is exactly what I did. Case. Um. But I was excited to try it. Ooh, there we go. My color again. That was like really far off swatch, but whatever. Uh it's so pretty. I'm excited to try all these nude lipsticks to see how they fare. But I'm really excited to try the Makeup Forever one. I just like really trust Makeup Forever products. Burp. Oh. But like these three that are kind of the same still aren't the same. But like this one's freaking me out. Why did that dry so weird? It didn't dry my lips weird. And I didn't have to like really pigment it over. Again, that's the Urban Decay one. Okay. All right, so next I have some drugstore brands. Um, I was watching a Desi Perkins video yesterday and she said she loved the Milani Amor Matte Lip Cream. So I would just happen to be in Walgreens today. Okay, so I searched Walgreens today looking for these. Whatever. Um... <laughs> So I picked up this one. This is shades. Oh, it's really, really pigmented. It's super, like a really dark brown. Yes, Milano. This one is kind of like this one. That like Dolce K orangey. Super pretty packaging. It smells really good. That's good. Then I picked up this adorable, which is like. Coco K to me. Maybe not. Ooh, this is like an orangey, peachy color, I want to say. Maybe a light pink. Mmm, Candy K. Yeah, I just, oh, they're so cute. I'm excited to actually wear these to see how they fare out. They were 
ten dollars so a little pricey I would say for like drugstore makeup but I was I don't know I'm always I'm like a lipstick person like I love lipstick I love trying lipsticks and then the last one I got was precious well I actually got one more but it wasn't nude so I didn't want to put it in this tutorial I don't think this one's really nude either it's a little bright uh, super pretty again Whoop. okay and then I went in I finally found the wet and wild lipsticks that everyone has been talking about so actually it's funny I ordered a bunch online yesterday and then me and my mom went to Target this morning and I saw them. So I'm like, well, I can't get the ones I already ordered. So I just got a couple colors. So I'm just going to swatch this one for you. This is Berry Recognize. The more nude ones I ordered online. So I'll just do like, I think I'm going to do a Wet n Wild video. Just because I have so many of them now. Yeah, because this definitely ruins my nude swatching. But whatever. Uh... It's cute. I'm excited to try it. I've heard good things about them, so it'll be good. The other one I got was Coral Corruption, which looks super pretty. And then I went into the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Matte Nudes. You know what I'm talking about. Maybelline. I don't know what they're called. Matte Nudes. I'm just gonna say matte nude lipsticks. So I already have the almond rose color, but I went into, I got five, three, five today. This is just a super light pink color. I didn't actually swatch this in the store, so I wasn't sure. Um, right now it's kind of reminding me of concealer, not gonna lie. But hopefully on the lips it'll look prettier. I love the formula for this, so I'm excited to try them all. This is gonna be a long ass video. I apologize, but you know what? This is a lot of shit. Okay, three left, but they're metallic, so I think they are like the most exciting. So the next brand I've never heard of, it is the Touch and Soul brand. Um, yeah, I've never heard of them. Whoa, every there's a ghost. Um, so it comes in two parts. There's like this and then this. I think they're both metals, like a metallic though, so I'm kind of confused. So I'm just going to swatch them both to see what happens. Good applicator. These were in Sephora. Ooh! Bitch ain't playing. I think that's what I did in the store too. Everyone stared at me. Okay, got it. So one is like a gloss and one is like a liquid lip. They are stunning. I'm like obsessed with metallic lips. Like, I would even say it's liquid gloss. Um, they're my life. So, these are so pretty. I'm excited to see how they actually wear on my lips. But they look so pretty. I would even use these as an eyeshadow base. The next two are the Smashbox. This is actually called. Smashbox be like be legendary liquid metal. Um, I got the two color. I got two of them. There's one more that I think is darker, and I I'm just not about it. I mean, I wanted it just because I wanted it, but yeah, it's, these swatch. It's like liquid gold. It's like. So I got Petal Metal. I'm gonna see if I can show you guys as I swatch these. And this is Mauve Squad. I think half of these have the name Mauve in them. Guys, I really don't even like neutrals. I just, I think they're super boring. Okay, ready? It's amazing. So these are the two Smashbox ones. Um. This is like a rose gold. This is like a champagne -y gold, I would say. Uh, I'm so excited to try them. I have not yet tried them. They've been sitting 
everything's been sitting on my vanity like waiting for me to film this video it's been stressing me out a lot so I'm excited to like try all these nude lips and see what actually works what actually doesn't but I feel like I got a really good good plethora of nudes oh I'm so excited I need to make like, a nude this chart but yeah so these are all the ones that I have bought. I will link all of these down below so you can do your research, see if you like them. I'm going to do a, like a review video about all of these. I'm going to wear them once a day, see how I like them so I can do like a follow up. Um, I hope you like this video. Um, if you'd like to see a tutorial on this super just bronzy glowy makeup look. Uh, comment down below don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe thank you so much for watching I love you all Mwah. have a very nude day work those nodes yes love you guys bye Mwah.